Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to talk about how to compare the two page list values. Here the scenario is, I have a products information. Now, before rendering into the product screen, I am going to maintain the whatever the products which are present in the current system into one of the page list. And after going into the product screen, user can able to add a new product into the existing product list or user is going to delete the products from the existing product list, which I am going to maintain it under the new products info page list. Now the requirement is we have to get the whatever the product user has added into our existing product list that product ID is information or else if the user has deleted the products from the products information then we have to maintain the deleted products information and to send it to the our admin team. Now how we are going to do this one is let's go into the dev studio. To do that I am going to create a data transform. Let's save the data transform. Now, as we have discussed earlier, we are going to have a two page lists. Let me define those page list. To maintain new products data, we are going to use new products page list. Now we are done with the pages company. Now before mapping a data to our pages right, we will be maintaining, we will be removing our pages. Let me delete page list. Sample data. Now add one more thing. I'm just copying the existing page. Here I'll be modifying the product ID to two.
these are the old products which we have in our system now the user is going to add a two more products into system as we are going to maintain the new products information into the new products page list Now we have a old products information and new products information. In the new products information, right, we are going to maintain the existing products information as well along with the new products. The existing products information is one. And two. No, you first the industry information. Now, to know the what are all the new products or existing products user has deleted or added. We have a one OOTB activity to compare the two page lists. This is the activity PX compare two page lists. Here we have to pass the few parameters as a input parameters to this activity before page list reference, after page list reference, and before property reference, after property reference, and these are the two parameters this activity is going to send it as a output parameters to as a output result if we have added an element to that existing page then it will be showing it under this parameter if we have deleted any existing products list right we will be getting this elements delete out parameter now prior to calling that activity Map the input parameter. I have to give the same name. Now the third parameter is what is the property we are going to watch in the page list. I need a product ID which is removed or added to our page list. We have a one OOTP function to call the activity from the data transfer. The function is px execute an activity. The function is going to expect the parameters is page of the page and the other parameter is an activity name.
now I have been passed the input parameters prior to calling our activity. Now we are done with the configuration. Let's execute the data transform to see the result. I am going to trace this. Go to parameter space. See here as we have added the third product and fourth product into our existing products list. Here we are going to see that product elements has been added to the page list. Now what I am going to do is I am going to remove the one of the existing product. I am going to keep only the one product. In my new products page, I have only one product. A user has deleted from the screen. See element product 2 has been removed from the existing products list information. This is how we will be able to compare the two page lists which is having which is maintaining the same information in the both the page list before adding or deleting the existing information. And while calling an activity using the function right, we have to give the same name of our parameter which is mentioned in the activity. As in, if you are modifying any parameter value right, it won't be passed to the activity. Thanks for watching my videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.